Welcome back just ahead of 643 on this Tuesday. Two years ago, Andrew Bishop was just looking to create a table that had sentimental value. Now the furniture business he created has branched out across the country. This week's Montana Made, MTN's Julianne DeLorso introduces us to the family behind Riverbottom Restoration Furniture and the unusual material the company puts to use. When Andrew Bishop's family put roots down on a farm just east of Brady 100 years ago. My dad tells a story about my grandfather trying to plant every species of trees there was back in the 40s and just he couldn't find a tree that would grow out here. They might never have imagined Andrew would go out on a limb and use their weeds to grow a business. My family thought I was a little bit crazy. Andrew makes furniture out of Russian olive trees, which are considered a noxious weed. I'm the only guy that shows up when you Google Russian olive furniture. From scouting the perfect tree. Sized Russian olive here. Milling it out, planing it, sanding it, and finishing it. Pour tongue oil over the board and uh, really comes to life. You'd think this was a full-time job for him and his wife, but. I'm a lawyer, so <laughs> this is very different from my day to day. And Andrew himself is an engineer, but they keep the business all within their family tree. I call my 91 year old grandmother my head of sales because <laughs> anyone that'll listen, she'll, she'll tell them everything they need to know about Russian olive wood and her grandson that works with it. The family has sold furniture as far out as Alaska and doesn't outsource any of the work. Andrew says it's hard for him to describe the wood, but. What I always go back to is it looks like a wild walnut. So it just is a very, very wild looking wood. I'm very prejudiced, but I think it's the, the coolest domestic hardwood there is. But every Russian olive tree has its thorns. That's a sharp one. It's difficult to work with, but for Andrew and Jen, the beauty of the finished product is worth it. We like our work, but it's so fun at the end of the day to be able to come home, work on some projects together and actually see this wood come to life. And the customers agree. The coolest response I had is one of the first ones, first Russian olive tables I ever delivered. I brought the table into her house and she started crying. And the Russian olive, Jen says, is the type of hardwood that will likely last forever. I certainly hope that each piece that uh, we build does get treasured forever. Um, that's what people tell us a lot of times when they order a piece is that they want to buy something that can be handed down. Using their roots to help others grow theirs. <laughs> East of Brady, Julianne DeLorso, MTN News. I love that. When I was a kid, I had a tree house and a Russian olive tree. I love that. By the way, Andrew and Jen are able to market their business from their farm east of Brady using Facebook and social media. They say the only drawback is the pictures online don't do the furniture justice. To see or order their creations for yourself, head over to our websites for a link to their page.